Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to today's AFK Journey video. So in today's AFK Journey video, I'm going to do a showcase for um, Scalita, right? So this is Hero Confession Scalita that dropped in version 1.07. So I was lucky enough to get a few copies of her to get her to Legendary to have a better look at how she will perform in the different game modes. So I'm not going to talk in details about the skills i'm going to evaluate her by showcasing how she functions in a different game mode and talk about the goods and bads about her and whether or not you should rush for her so without further ado let's go into the different game modes that i think she's usable at so in terms of where she's good at i think she's the de de definitely decent in arena in multi-mobbing contents like arcane as well as battle Jill. maybe maybe lesser of arcane because she's not as good in terms of understated setting so maybe better drill and arena and then she's also pretty decent in terms of content pushing in terms of ak challenge in terms of clearing the maps over here pretty decent because the, the stat boost that she provides is just really good so the the issue with her right let's go into the challenge to showcase what's the issue with her okay we're gonna go here so to mimic an understated condition i'm gonna use this setting without my dps right so right now i'm a little bit understated i'm gonna start the battle and talk about the goods about her and the bats okay so let's start so when she's first start the battle she'll be in the air so in the air she will get her energy attack boost and she will also have her third skill which will constantly heal the front line or the lowest hp unit to keep them healthy so the third skill is basically like a 4.5 unit versus 5 unit in a 5v5 setting so once she comes down she's able to stun the area that she drops on for four seconds and do a little bit of damage okay so her ultimate is dropping Okay, her ultimate is coming online. So over here, this is how the ultimate looks like. It's a semi-omnidirectional skill. There is AoE. So you're able to stun. I'm going to just drop it. Okay, so amazing animation over here. Okay, so she's able to do an AoE stun and AoE damage, which is really, really powerful. So I'm just going to auto from here. Okay, so when she's on the floor, right? Okay, I'm going to talk about two of her main problems from this battle alone okay so from here i think is enough to showcase her ability so i'm gonna talk about her two of her weakness from this battle alone so number one her pure cleanse as well as a divine quake they are amazing disables and amazing uh buffs but to a certain extent pure cleanse is quite rng based because skeleta descends near the enemy closest to the ally's side back line so this is there's no like way you can predict where she will drop so there's no way you can maximize the aoe because it's only a two tile stun so you want to be able to land on as many enemy as possible to stun as many of them but you really cannot control it because it's really quite i'll say like random you can sort of position your unit and then try to you know put the line up so that you can predict where she drops but that will require a lot of planning but that's for her right in terms of the pure cleanse a little bit rng based for divine quake this skill is uh, i'll say quite a big aoe and you're able to do a bunch of uh, controls from this skill and damage as well but the issue is in auto mode right this skill is uh it can go haywire like because it's a front target skill so she'll basically aim for the frontmost target and sometimes it's not in the direction of the enemy backline so what happens is maybe she's diagonal for example the enemy is maybe right in front of uh maybe like okay let's just put it this way so this is the backline enemy this is the front enemy so skalita if she's over here her skill will hit in this direction so you'll miss all the backline enemy and then this is what happened in some auto scenarios which i encounter so this is not a very reliable skill in auto setting even though it's a semi omnidirectional skill but because of how the aiming mechanics work it's not super reliable in auto setting so auto is a problem for her and the third issue which i i want to talk about is her valkyrie spirit so this skill is a skill which makes her a 4.5 unit in in a 5v5 setting so what happened what, what do i mean by 4.5 because when she's in the air she kills uh, provides a shield for the weakest ally every three seconds right and provide them with a defense buff as well as uh like uh, additional 
um survivability for the unit per se and every time she she descends on the battlefield she deals more damage to the enemy within a two tower and knocks them down so an additional um damage and additional disable once she drops down but this skill is called a 4.5 because number one when you start the battle you only have this skill as the healing to keep your frontliner in most cases alive and when she drops down she loses the defensive component of this shield which i think they could easily rectify by giving it to herself once she drops down on the battlefield so this will definitely make her a lot stronger because her being a warrior unit she's going to charge in front and she she will die so that's the two major problem with her so 4.5 unit and the not so good in auto so over here i'm going to showcase her ability in arena i have i'll say like one replay which could showcase like like some of the issues which you guys could face using her so this is me with one player so we're going to exit the replay here so over here i want to showcase the player's uh, unit okay not the most meta unit but they do have sisia eddie as well as torren although not really developed so this is a replay our powers are quite close so let's start the replay okay one time auto setting so in arena there's no way i can control where she drops her skill so it's fully auto so my opponent's eddie throws out the ultimate to do damage to my tank okay in this case my granny is actually doing an amazing job to hold the fort before she comes down okay managed to kill off the corin over here right and we managed to bring down but granny died we managed to bring down torrent but our granny died so it's a 4v4 at this point okay then when she comes down torrent did die but the thing is it's at the cost of my heroin as you guys can see okay so she tries to walk up she's not doing anything yet because when she drops down torrent is already dead right so she charges in front gets poisoned by eddie tries to use her ultimate oh and she got insta kill <laughs> so her ultimate did nothing over here like basically she doesn't have any defensive capability when she drops down and that is quite bad for a warrior unit because most warrior unit will charge in front so if you don't have enough text to survive right a warrior unit dies insanely quickly so that is showcased in this match and i do have another replay over here so cd over here is slightly understated so i'm going to showcase um the the game so over here i did play against uh um, a player which is using a less meta team so this is where she shines when she's able to win more so in all honesty skalita is a win more unit so if your unit can do what they do and survive until she comes down then she's definitely going to win you the match because the disable that she provides is just insane but the caveat is you have to hold until she comes down and do her stuff and even when she comes down she's still considered a 4.5 unit because her third skill loses the healing compartment the defensive compartment which which i think is kind of wasted but then again if let's say they do give it to her she might be quite broken so i don't know we shall see what the developer do with her moving forward so she comes down didn't stun anyone as usual never do anything in the battle and so that's battle number two let's go with another battle so in this case i'm gonna do this guy so this guy i'll say is using a meta offensive uh unit but not as good in terms of the defenses so i'm very underpowered against this guy but i'm just gonna showcase skalita being underpowered so one of the strengths of skalita one of the biggest wins about her is this faction bonus so with skalita in a team most of the time you're looking at a four unit bonus so compared to a three unit bonus you are getting nine percent additional stats so in this case in an equally stated setting you will have slightly more advantage in terms of team building and more flexibility to plan your team to get Get the most out of the faction bonus for the stat bonuses so in this case as you guys can see this is a four unit bonus so if i do use cecia right my power is still very high because my cecia is very highly ranked but i'm i don't get this uh 18 percent 19 percent that uh when i use kalita so if i do have her at the same stats then i'm gonna get more power out of her but in this case i'm gonna showcase her so very very underpowered let's start okay so same thing right eddie this unit over here it is a very common unit that everybody runs so he's gonna throw out his skill right in this case my granny didn't survive for very long okay eddie starts to steamroll my front line and then yeah she she's gonna come down she's gonna come down right she's gonna come down right 2v5 2v4 is there a chance is she gonna do what she do so she managed to stun okay but because she doesn't have any defensive capability she dies 
very quickly and then i lose the match okay so but this case i'm under stated so like i i mean in terms of stats i'm losing out a bit but for in most cases in the super end game setting i will include a uh, footage on screen uh, there's this wheel um, that's able to i'll say like pull off the max potential for her running a bunch of grave one unit like torrent like igor that just don't die so easily to hold as long as possible until she drop down to do her shenanigans so you're able to benefit from the stats buff while being able to get the most out of Scarlita. but uh let's go back into talking about the goods and bads about her so just now i talked about two bads about her there's another bad thing about her is that even though her investment is quite cheap in a sense you only need one shot per tier to upgrade her but the pool is very expensive so in order for you to unlock her max potential which is the ex weapon it will take quite a while not actually a very wallet friendly unit and because she's not very meta honestly i don't think you guys should actually rush for her like you guys can probably save up your coins and see whether you want to use her in the long run but right now in the guild shop itself she's uh probably a little bit better compared to barrel at least uh, based on some of the wheels opinion so she's available here so if you have enough coins do save up you she's probably a little bit better i think barrel is maybe good once you you're able to max him out but right now i don't think a lot of people are talking about him so probably do a review video of him if i'm able to get him to the higher tier so that's for barrel then um that's uh the bad thing right the good thing about her is she's able to pull off what she does best that is to disable that is to do damage with her true damage potential and then insta kill units she's definitely a very meta unit there but i think is she worthy enough to to spend that much resource in terms of pulling for her in terms of the meta maybe not as much because like uh okay first of all this skill is like i mentioned a 0 0.5 she don't get the best out of it at least at the current point at the recording of this video so it is a good skill which is able to keep your team alive longer but you lose the stronger suit of the skill once she drops down even though you get some disabled that's why i call it a 0.5 skill and this pure cleanse is technically also a 0.5 because it gives her the buffs which makes her like a semi carry potential before she comes down so once she comes down she's like a super saiyan with all the buff but the thing is you're in the air and you're you're, you're fighting 4v5 even though she provides a heal which is which is a 0.5 like i mentioned but you're losing a lot of dps potential in um the damage related content so she's not going to be good there and honestly speaking in auto game modes where you have no control over her skills right she might not be performing as she should so in the ideal setting she's gonna um like your tank is able to front hold the fort hold the front line she's able to heal the tank keep everybody healthy and once the time is up she gets all her buff she's gonna jump down stun as many targets once she jump down for four seconds and then charge up her ultimate and then uh, stun them even longer and then from there you're able to insta kill people with your true damage as well as the ex level 3 ability so that is what skalita is supposed to do but if you compare the cost to upgrade her to this step and the value that she provides for you i honestly think is not that high like she's definitely a good unit for arena per se but in general you can't use her in legend trial not exactly that good for labyrinth if you are not getting the relic you're playing from behind not exactly the best in terms of afk contents okay she's usable so thankfully there's only like two real game modes that she excels at in battle drill I, I honestly don't think she's that good because in battle drill nowadays it's it's very very hard like the mobs are hitting super hard so she doesn't survive that well there as well like i tried to use her but yeah not so good result so so probably uh, an arena and maybe your standard content pushing unit definitely has her high times but because of the issue which i mentioned about her yeah she's not a unit that you need to actually rush for she's not super meta so although if you're able to max her out then she might be really like a celestial goddess but that's that a very very i'll say like really unit per se so yeah that's my thoughts about her thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more afkj contents from the channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys